Japanese mixed martial arts legend with us at Mammoth, Joachim Hellboy Hansen, the Dream Grand Prix Champion 2008. How are you, Hellboy? A featherweight now? Yeah, yeah. I've always been a, a light, light, uh, lightweight. Small lightweight. Small lightweight, yeah. So, so uh, 65 kilos is my, uh, is, is my prime, I think. Yeah, you're more naturally super short. Yeah, in the past I always used to uh, you know, walk around the stop before I went to the scale, just to wait close to, close to uh, 155 and then uh, I, just, I just became sick of, uh, of uh, shuttling down food, you know, to gain weight, so it's just a little good to me. Good to me, yeah. I don't, don't want to have that... Uh, Five from seven. Seven. Oh, the John Doe from seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Bill Boy Hansen's a movie buff. No, oh, you had us worried. You went down to featherweight. Three losses. You had us worried, Hellboy. Yeah. Back now, up. <laughs> Sorry? you back now, up. You're back on the winning track. Yeah, I hope so. In my last two fights. I was badly crippled uh, in my last fucking spin. Uh, I rewrote my hand and tore off my front uh, ACL. But uh, I still, uh, still struggle on. So. Uh, I'd like to say you've got the Bushido spirit. That's why you're still to Japan. Yes. So, no insider information on whether all that dream and Sam Goku are going to survive. I'm going to pray, pray to all, all the lonely gods. I should survive and I think it will be okay. Fingers crossed. And, okay, Omigawa's gone stateside, he's gone to the UFC. Uh, you've beaten Takoro, you've still got Takaya and Bibiano. Are they two rematches that you're after? Yeah, if, the, if it happens, I'll be, uh, yeah, I'm going to be, be better next time. I hope so. Your team held by Hansen, the man. I'm a major fan of the team team. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to England. To <laughs> this. To this. Welcome to England. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it's said that another Japanese fighter. Um, Kiteoka laid the blueprint of how to beat Paul Daly back in Pancreas when he, he kept him grounded throughout the fight and just worked for submissions. Um, do you feel confident that you can do the same? Follow his lead. What's the name of the Japanese fighter? Kiteoka. Sorry, what was the last bit of the question? Uh, does he feel that he can follow in Kiteoka's footsteps, follow the same game plan to win? <laughs> um, he thinks it's a good technique, but he's got to mix it up with the two, uh, the similar um, submissions, um, as well as um, just um, a punching, kicking, and yeah. various mixture of both techniques. Yeah. How, d how does he feel his, uh, his sambo style matches up against an opponent like Paul Daly? His sambo style? Sambo. Sambo style? Sambo style, Paul Daly. Sambo. 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 He's very excited and happy with the, the, uh, ex the experience and opportunity. Mm. Um, obviously, uh, the Japanese MMA scene is in turmoil mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, 
does he feel confident that organisations such as Dream and Sengoku may survive? And if so, does he plan to fight for them in the future? Does he have any insider information on, Jap on Japan's MMA scene at the moment, on Dream and Sengoku? Will they survive? No, he doesn't have any inside information, but he just wants to uh, play as a, a player, like an athlete, and that's what he wants to focus on. Who, who do you think the best Japanese fighter in the world is right now? <laughs> he thinks everybody is a great athlete and he just wants to focus on himself getting to the top. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Japanese fighters haven't been doing very well against uh, fighters from the West recently. Uh, Hayato Sakurai, uh, Kazushi Sakuraba, uh, Ikahisa Minoru and more have, have, have all uh, declined somewhat recently. Are, are you hoping to book the trend? <laughs> He's got the confidence to yeah, turn things around. Wonderful. And lastly, uh, if if you beat Paul Daly at Bama, where do you see yourself fight going from here? <laughs> uh, well, first, he just wants to go back to Japan and eat some Japanese food. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see a man who's got his priorities in order. <laughs> Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Arigato. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lowkick.com, MMAJapan.com, the Fletch blog. It's been emotional. Um, well, I trained with John Jones, we've sparred together and we spent time together. John Jones is doing really well. I mean, the kid's full of. Um, uh, he's fearless right now, you know. He's out there, he's doing his work, he's very successful and he's got a title shot. If Shogun was the same Shogun that turned up against Mark Coleman after he came back after an injury, then John Jones is going to kill him. Uh, if Shogun comes against Kenta Machida, then I think John Jones is in for a long night. But. Like again, he's been out for a long time. He has, he, his, muscle, his body hasn't peaked in over, in over a year. John Jones peaked two months ago. So we know he's ready. So it's going to be a real tough fight. James, um, K1 are in financial crisis at the moment and it's, they've not got any events scheduled until July. But in Europe, the kickboxing scene's flourishing with its Showtime and Ultimate Glory. Can you ever see yourself going back there full time? Well, not full time, but um, I've been offered a fight for K1. Um, hmm. My manager. Who against? Um, they didn't negotiate an opponent, but they were talking about um, there's a title available in the K1 right now, and in, uh, in the light heavyweight uh, sector, that has been made vacant. Is it actual um, K1, K1, FEG? Yeah. yeah. And um, so the negotiations are talking about that right now, and um, we just, I just said to him, listen, I don't want to talk about it until after this fight, and. Um, get his fight out of the way and then, uh, if it's still there and they want me to fight for it then I'll take it.
um, but like I said, I'm not prepared to nail down to stand up fighting. I, I was successful in, in K1 and Thai boxing, and um, I feel that you know, I've had a new challenge, and now I have a bad taste in my mouth from MMA that I want to. There's more I still want to achieve, and you know, I feel like there's more I want to prove to myself. Hmm. And uh, so my heart is still in MMA right now. Yeah, there's a there's a new generation of sort of 95 kilogram. Uh, fighters in, the, in 90, the kickboxing world with 95 kilo. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So with they're, uh, they're, Ty, Tyrone Spong well, and the title people like got that. Made vacant from Tyrone. Um, or the Showtime title. Yeah. Yeah. So I think Wendell Roche is fighting for it. Isn't it? Well, it hasn't been set yet, so they're discussing. No, they they set it this week. Oh, they do set it already. Yeah. Okay, Wendell, yeah. Wendell Roche, I can't remember his opponent. Yeah. So there were negotiations about it, but I, t- I told him uh, this was two months ago. Mm. But I was just going to wait until after this fight. So. How do you see yourself matching up with this sort of next generation of light heavyweight kickboxers, 95 max? Um, I'd have to go back and spend a lot of time back in Holland and um, a couple of months preparing for the fight solely with um, my coach Lucian Covin and. Um, and just keep on polishing the techniques and making sure that uh, there's things in MMA you can't do in, t- in kickboxing, things in kickboxing you can't do in MMA. So this is to make sure that I change back and forth. It's very hard for people to jump between the two. Alistair's made a very good job of jumping between the two, and uh, that's a very unique person to be able to do that. Yeah. And just, just more punishing on the body. Um, I think K- I think K1 is more punishing over time um, because of the fact that you have an MMA fight. And you could you could have the whole fight, and you can still walk tomorrow. Yeah. You'd have one K one round, but you can't walk for two weeks. Even if you're level, two or three leg kicks, and you could have a problem for a long time. Yeah. Especially if you're fighting Manoff. Manoff, or I mean, listen, there's a lot of heavy leg kickers out there. I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's still a problem. Yeah, yeah, it's very tough. Finally, just one last thing. I run a fight for him. There's a kid on there called Santiago. He's literally. Insane with love for you. He must be the biggest oh, yeah. James Max Sweeney fan in oh, the world. Cool, so if you could just give him a quick What's shout out, Santiago. Hey Santiago, thanks for your support, brother. There we go. <laughs>